good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It just depends on where you are in the world today. I just wanted to give you a shout out this morning and we bless God for those that are in our midst, those who have joined up with morning devotions. I feel God doing something fresh and new and exciting on this page. I feel that the purpose of God for this page is being made manifest right as we speak that God wants to do something awesome, wonderful, glorious, powerful, creative, phenomenal in our lives today. And so we want to give a shout out to those that are from Barbados and that's Bridgetown Barbados. You know who you are. Praise God. Liberia from the United Kingdom, from uh, Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria, from England, from um, South Africa, praise God, from, from Swaziland, from Haiti, uh, from New York, um, Uganda. A shout out to those that are from Louisiana, uh, Beirut, Lebanon, praise God, uh, Malaysia, Australia all around the world from north carolina from illinois from georgia from columbus ohio praise god amen we know that god is mindful of you today otherwise i don't believe i will be sitting here in the spot and so we're going to uh just share a thought that god put on our heart that intrigued us i was into studying something else and god brought this to mind and also that i'm to get on here from time to time to uh share but god brought a thought to mind and we want to read this particular scripture and we believe it's going to bless you and it's going to change the course of history it's going to change your day praise god and you are going to be used by god to change the course of history you know and it's marvelous with god you can speak to one individual and they can have the capacity or the call could be on their life to speak to millions but because you will uh allow god to use you to encourage them they could be down they could be thinking well i'm giving up the ministry this day but because you allow god to use you to speak into their lives and then they go forward and they do the ministry that god has called them to do praise god just look at the blessing just look at the wonder of god and how he has used you to make a difference and you may have thought that your two fish and five loaves did not matter. But when we put it in the hands of God, everything matters. And today we're going to look at Psalms 19 and 1. And my thought is, what are you declaring today? What are you declaring today? I believe that's the thought that God has put on my heart to bring in our midst to share that we could have breakfast over, praise God. And some of you may be into your cup of tea or your cup of coffee, uh, what have you. But what are you declaring? Here we go now. Uh, Psalms 19.1 says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Now God's uh, heavens, they're declaring, uh, uh, the word for declare, the... Uh, word for declare is a uh, safa safa the hebrew word and it means to shoo forth to tell he the heavens are telling a story today you know we get up in the morning sometime and the sun is out the sun is already declaring and displaying the glory of god but my question today is what are we declaring what do we declare when we get up in the morning and rise forth god has said uh okay you are the light of the world now the heavens the sun the moon and stars they are doing their assignment they are declaring they're expressing uh, uh in some case even directing remember when the magis came to see jesus uh, a star led them praise god uh, they read the stars they read the heavens to find out where he was well what are you declaring today what am i declaring today the heavens declare the glory of god that means the kabod uh, 
the honor, the dignity, uh, the um, statesmanship of God, the radiance, uh, the reputation of God, all that he is, his glory and splendor, the king of glory that heavens are displaying. Have you ever been going about in the afternoon or the late evening and you seen the sunset and the beauty was beyond description it just made you want to pull over and draw near and just look at the wonder of god well god wants to do some wonders in your life he said i came that you might have life and have it more abundantly are you declaring the wonders of god uh example of this is the day that the Lord has made and make it personal. And I will rejoice and be glad in this day because God has made this day with me in mind and I will shine. Oh, our God is divine. He gives us a peace of mind. He won't leave us at the back of the line. He's with us all the time. Praise God. So we want to declare this to be a blessed day, a glorious day, a profitable day. This is the day that Jehovah Roha, our shepherd, will supply all of our needs. This is the day that Jehovah Shalom will give us peace. We will walk through this day with the God of comfort. We will walk through this day blanketed with the peace of God. My heart will not be troubled, neither will it let it be, a, neither will it be afraid because Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Meaning, praise God, that we have the grace of God to do that thing. What have you declared for your day? Great is your peace. The Lord is on your side. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against my family shall prosper. I'm interceding. I'm praying for them. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much, huh? Are we declaring? What about that need? The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Put the word out. You know, when springtime comes, uh, the farmers will plant seeds in the ground. Why? Because they want to harvest. Why? Because there's a need for it. Some will plant corn and tomatoes and tobacco, all these things. What are we planting today in the atmosphere, in the soil of the atmosphere, in our hearts? What are we declaring today? I sense God coming to stir you today and ignite you today that it's time to declare the word of God. It's time to call those things that be not as though they were. Remember Abraham? Everybody had counted him out. Age had counted him out. Uh, people had counted him out. They had looked at his situation, looked at perhaps his hometown, looked at the color of his skin, looked at the size of his bank account, and decided that he did not measure up. But I hear God saying today that no matter what it may look like, you measure up because of his power for things that are impossible with me and they are possible with God. When the angel Gabriel came to Mary, and uh, told her, you shall bring forth a child and call his name Jesus. Uh, Mary had a question. She said, how can this be seen? I know not a man. I don't have the capacity for this to work. I don't have the finances. I don't know anybody to help me. Uh, I don't have the intelligence how to do this. Uh, but uh, the angel Gabriel said, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And we're declaring today uh, that the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. Uh, all the way over there in Nigeria, the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. In Swaziland, the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. In Barbados, the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. In Haiti, the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. In Libya, the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. In Georgia, the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. In Louisiana, the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. It is possible. With God, all things are possible. What are you declaring today? 
what are you declaring? I sense God is saying, be mindful to declare and decree the word of the Lord. Declare it to be a good thing. Declare that Jehovah Jireh is your provider. Declare that Jehovah Shalom is your peace. Declare that you can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth you. Declare that you are unfolding, you are evolving, you are emerging, you are rising. Because God has a plan for your life and God has called you. You know the God that called Peter out of that boat to walk on the water to do what seemed to be impossible. But because of the call of God and because of the power of God, God called. And I sense the power of God is still in that call. That's why you can't give up. That's why you can't faint. That's why you can't stop. That's why you can't look at your situation and stop. That's why you have to keep going because the power of God is out loose before the foundation of the world that you will come forth and you will be a difference maker in this life that we're in today. Praise God. Well, you know what? I preached long enough. We want you to get busy with those declarations. Let's declare the glory of God. Let's Call those things that be not as though they were. Let's let the light shine. What is God saying for you today? What does your life look like today? You know what? I'm going to study all the word that God has put before me today. I decree it. I declare it. I'm going to give it. Bless God. My best intentions. My not intentions. Uh, not only intentions, but uh, I'm going to allow God to manifest the strength, the power, and I have, by the grace of God, the desire. There's some things I'm excited about that God has given me to study. And we have to get in that word and do that. He says, study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of the Lord. You know what? I need to declare it. I declare as I get up in the morning, I get my cup of coffee. I'm going to study to show myself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of God. Or either, I am a woman of prayer. You can say, I am a man of prayer. Praise God. Oh, and you are that can-do individual. God wants to use you. So be encouraged today. Father, we thank and praise you for your blessed people, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are so mindful of them. Thank you, oh, Father God, for the express word of God being made manifest in their lives, oh, Father. They are called out group of individuals for such a time as this. And, Lord, we just thank you for fresh anointing being released upon their lives, oh, Father God. We thank you for the wind of God breathing upon them today. God, we thank you for pouring some fresh oil out upon them today. Father, we thank you for stirring in their lives today. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, bless their family, bless their homes, bless them to be encouraged, God. And above all, Father God, bless them to yield, to surrender to you today, God. Give them the grace, Father God, to speak forth, uh, to declare their day, oh, Father God. And give them, Father, the inspiration and give them the revelation of what uh, you want them to be. Declare and let them move out with no hesitation. Remove from their life all frustration. God, let there be activation today, Father. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. God is mindful of you. Praise God. And thank you so much for just coming and gathering around and allowing Jesus to be in our midst today. God sees Elroi.